Hello, I'm Dr. Shruti Badula, consultant pediatric ophthalmologist and squint surgeon at American Laser Eye Hospitals at Madina Ruda, Hyderabad. Today, we are going to discuss about a very common condition I see on a daily basis as an eye care professional, yet not many parents are aware about this condition. This is lazy eye or in medical terminology, we call it as amblyopia. So, uh, amblyopia is one of the most common reasons causing visual impairment or in some conditions it may cause permanent vision loss and uh, this condition uh, develops during the childhood and if it is not treated it may continue to the adulthood. There are many causes causing amblyopia and the most common cause which we see in childhood is due to refractive error that is when we do not give the glass power or we do not uh, treat the eyesight related problems on time. So many children they develop uh, eyesight issues and uh, either uh, the parents do not observe or uh, the child is neglected and there is a delay in the glass prescription and this results in a visual impairment due to uh, the time gap between the onset of the refractive error and the use of glasses. Second one is when children develop squinting or misaligned eyes. So whenever there is uh, misalignment in the eyes, either the eye is rotated outwards or inwards, the vision in the eye gets uh, suppressed and the child either sees blurred image or child sees double images. So in such cases, the brain does not want uh, the blurred image or the double image and it tries to suppress the eye and only one eye becomes dominant and the eye which is misaligned uh, goes into lazy eye or amblyopic eye. The third reason uh, for amblyopia is whenever there is some structural abnormality in the eye which is causing the vision loss. These could be media opacities like cataracts which can occur from birth or there may be haziness of the black part of the eye that is corneal opacities or there may be lid drooping covering the eye in toto uh, that is ptosis which cause the visual impairment resulting in the lazy eye. So whatever the reason may be the visual impairment due to amblyopia is treatable and reversible only in childhood and till 8 years of age. So after 8 years of age this condition may is only partially treatable or in some cases is not reversible at all and results in permanent visual blindness. So what is the difference in visual impairment uh, caused due to this lazy eye in childhood and adulthood? So in childhood, the brain is still in its developing state and there is a bit of neuroplasticity which causes the brain to adapt to the treatment modalities given for amblyopia and there is reversible vision loss and vision recovery is can be done. But as the child grows and uh, he reaches adolescence or adulthood, there are permanent changes in the brain which cannot be molded. In such cases, the amblyopia treatment may not be successful. So now we'll discuss about what are the different treatment options uh, for amblyopia. Simple vision exercises like eye patching or uh, we say it as occlusion therapy where the stronger eye which is the eye with clearer vision is patched and the weaker eye is stimulated for a particular period of time. This results in uh, improvement in vision in the weaker eye. Uh, we also have specialized eye drops when the child is not cooperative for the eye patches. These are atropine eye drops and these are to be taken under strict supervision of the eye care professional. We also have uh, recent treatment advances like binocular vision therapy where the child is given special glasses and uh, the child plays, uh, you can say, one kind of a video game uh, to stimulate the weaker eye. Uh, we also have dicoptic uh, eye treatments and uh, gamer patches uh, for amblyopia and uh, these are less common treatment modalities. Uh, so recently it is uh, in the new studies we have found out that the adults who have amblyopia they are getting uh, good results with uh, advanced treatment options which are co coming up if anyone has any doubts regarding the amblyopia treatment or uh, if you want to know that if your child is suffering from amblyopia do visit your nearby pediatric ophthalmologist and uh, do not uh, delay your child's eye screening thank you